Hey, what's going on, Vikings fans? Cool, so I'm back again with another Minnesota Vikings video. First off, just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on yesterday's video. My highest viewed video to this day in 24 hours. Russell Wilson to the Bears video. Seriously, thank you guys so much. Helps a ton. Now we're talking about another NFC North rival, Green Bay. And they made a move yesterday that I can't really wrap my mind around. You guys see it by title. They re-signed Aaron Jones to a four-year 43 or 48 million dollar deal incentives involved obviously he's a running back i just don't really get it i'm gonna make my case on why why would they and i'm almost gonna make a case like maybe this is the reason why and it could end up being a good move i still can't wrap my my mind around it but i'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts my feelings towards this good day for vikings fans packers made a bad signing let's get into it leave a like on the video comment down below subscribe for more minnesota vikings and nfl takes let's get right into it All right, so the Packers yesterday, they kind of just said screw it and signed Aaron Jones to a four-year, $43 million or $48 million deal. And this kind of had a lot of people in the media, everybody's freaking out. Like, why would they do this? Like, A.J. Dillon, A.J. Dillon, A.J. Dillon, A.J. Dillon, A.J. Dillon. I completely agree. You know, normally I don't agree with, you know, what like what all the Instagram people say in the comments when, you know, I mean, you know when you like the NFL post like, oh, the Viking sign or the Kirk Cousins had a incredible day or some shit. And people just kind of be like, oh, he's not that good. He's not that good. You know, I mean, those trolls on Instagram. Normally I don't agree with them. And, you know, the trolls are out after the Green Bay Packers signed Aaron Jones. And there's a part of me where I was just like, why is everybody – you know, freaking, because I mean, I got the notification on my phone. I was like, why the hell would they do that? I expected him to be released. I did not expect this at all, but they did. And I got to agree with the Instagram trolls. Why would they sign him? You know, you have a guy in AJ Dillon who dominated that Sunday night game against Tennessee and the film on AJ Dillon that's out there right now. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, he's a bulldozer he's got he, he reminds me almost of like an eddie lacy type for the packers like back in the day and you know you gotta you gotta understand is green bay like this is what i don't get you know you are in wisconsin you're in that frozen tundra up there and you got a big physical bruiser running back who's in his second year he doesn't got a lot of carries under his belt he's got so much more to give you and now you're now you're gonna restrict his carries immensely and the throw on top of that like let's just say like let's just say the Packers are like no this is actually not we want to have both running backs playing at the same time getting the same amount of reps or whatever like this is what we want assuming Jamal Williams is out of the is out of the picture if they re-sign him I'll lose my mind I have no idea what they're doing but if they just said listen we got two really good running backs in AJ Dillon and Aaron Jones we want to make them a tandem I get that but then again, if you're going to make a tandem running back, why would you waste a second round pick on AJ Dillon? And then why would you give the other tandem around $50 million? Like normally when you have a tandem, it's like the San Francisco tandem. Like when they made the run and they beat us, Rose Mostert, Tevin Coleman. You know, I think they had, I mean, they obviously have Jared, the Jet McKinnon. I mean, it's a bunch of guys who aren't on huge deals and they're kind of undrafted, but they're really talented guys and they... And they all can't really be workhorses by themselves, but they work together. But when you have A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones, those are two workhorse backs, and now you're making them split carries. Honestly, I feel bad for A.J. Dillon especially is because we saw the damage he could do when he did get 20-plus carries against Tennessee. I mean, that was, I mean, it wasn't even just the old line. I mean, I mean, it was just a dominating, bruising performance. And I am almost thankful because i thought aj Dillon next year in fantasy i mean if we're talking just fantasy football i thought he was going to be around a top two round pick i could even see some people taking him in the first because if you say hey we got the workhorse back the bruiser the touchdown machine in green bay's offense he's going to put up a lot of points but now it's back to the aaron jones kind of aj Dillon split and that's assuming they split him i'm assuming that they just don't waste aaron or aj Dillon's second round pick anyways Packers fans, I'm going to look at this from a positive angle for you guys. Now, we've seen, we have never really seen recently one running back kind of 
carry a group to the Super Bowl. We've seen running games. We've seen, you know, old lines. We've never really seen, like, a Derrick Henry. I know he made the run to the AFC Championship. I know Dalvin won that playoff game against New Orleans last year. We've seen them win a game or two, but we've never really seen a running back carry a singular team to the playoffs. Now, the Packers, I don't know if their thought process is we got to have a lot of healthy legs for the playoffs, so we're going to split them throughout the year, and then we'll go based off matchup. Like, that could maybe be their thought process. But then again, I mean, is that really what you need to address? Is that really where your money needs to go? Because in my opinion, if I was Packers GM, I'm going to try to get a Rodge the same defense Brady has. I mean, because the Packers will always have good line. And you have been... the. The two things that the Packers have been kind of lacking was a second receiver next to Devontae Adams. Besides Lazard, I think Lazard's actually a very good second receiver, but people think otherwise. You either go get Rodgers another star receiver, or you go bolster that defense so he has a defense like Brady. Instead, you go double down on your money on something that you could easily replace. And it's kind of, it doesn't really make sense to me because... I feel like Aaron Jones. Yes, Aaron Jones is great. Listen, I'm so happy for Aaron Jones. Go get your money. I'm always happy when running backs get paid because I think they get screwed in the NFL. But honestly, why would they do it? I mean, I could see in a couple years where this is like the Todd Gurley deal. I mean, I could see this where Aaron Jones, I mean, it's not like Aaron, I mean, it's not like Aaron Jones is on the, I mean, it's not like he's a top five running back. I mean, I could name five, six running backs in the league I mean honestly there's a part of me that would rather take AJ Dillon I'm a huge component on offensive line makes running backs and I think Aaron AJ Dillon would get the most out of the old line in Green Bay more than Aaron Jones but that's just me I just don't get where Green Bay was thinking about going with this money I mean I'm trying to get this on a positive angle the other side and maybe it's just to have two fresh legs I mean I mean two sets of fresh legs for the postseason that's the only really thing I could wrap my mind around I don't know Packers what are you doing don't get the move at all. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on the video. Let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, I was really shocked when I saw this news yesterday. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Subscribe for more Minnesota Vikings takes and NFL takes. We'll see you guys next time. Skull Bikes.